hi I'm in my tiny house and I just wanted to show you my um, three ingredient chowder that I made and my pantry because it looks so cute <laughs> um, so let me start with my soup that's what it looks like oh it's so dark in here see that's my chowder um, this is what's in it a can of corn can of cream of mushroom soup and a package of tuna fish and this is a spicy kind so if you don't want your soup to be spicy then uh, don't get, get the spicy kind so yeah that's it and that whole thing made about a quart this is my ice cream container see I got that from TJ Maxx um, so yeah, that made like a quart of soup. Now, my pantry, I turned the lantern on and I put it inside so you can see better. Ta-da! Look at all my glass jars. So that is a half gallon container of um, crystallized ginger. I've had that for a long time because I like to buy all this stuff in bulk. Um, here is... Chex mix, you can see with the Chex, and then here is a different kind of snack mix that doesn't have Chex, but there's two of those. So everything, well I was thinking everything that's the same I would stack it, but here I have ginger snap cookies and the one behind it is also ginger snap cookies. Here is chocolate mint cookies, and the one behind it is chocolate mint cookies. And I did that because here is like snack mix and so it's the same thing behind it but here if I stack them oh no I guess I could still do that let me try it this way reorganizing yeah that works oh it's so cute okay yeah that's fine um yeah, so not everything stacked. Ginger snap cookies. That other one I said, chocolate mint. Here is almond M&M's and peanut M&M's. Here's my candy jar, which you can see what's in there. Cowtails, chocolate coconut candy, and um, Reese's. Here I have these. These are marketed as like a breakfast bar, but they are fruit cookies. And then here behind that is like an apple filled biscuit versus these ones are strawberry and they have that like frosting stuff these are fig newtons and i absolutely need a square container for that there's my dried apricot and next to that is a turkey jerky um and i ate like half of it but i got i spent like five dollars on that because at the dollar store they come in a really small package so I was thinking this side of the cabinet, since it's smaller, that goes all the way back here. Um, I think here I'll put my cans. And there's dishes here, which is really annoying because they don't fit. Um, so I have to move those. But look at how pretty this looks. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And there's enough height here that I can like stack up four of these jars to the ceiling. So... I'm not gonna fill it all with cookies. Over here, this is still a mess. Um, those are my chocolate chip cookies. These are things that need to be organized. This is my V8, which I might drink later. The cereal, I don't know why that's there. I don't like cereal. There's an empty container. So I don't know why that's there either. Um, so yeah, I have to clean this up still. And here's another jar that I started putting all my bags in these bags because now they have a place to go and these ones these freeze dried fruit I was thinking about putting them in a jar but they're so small that I don't think I really want to do that anyway so that's all I wanted to show you is how pretty this looks and how much I have snacks because I love snacks and I love glass jars and all these square ones with these clasp things these we're all at the dollar store and they're all a dollar each, so I'm probably gonna buy a lot of them. This round one, this bowl, was also from the dollar store, but I love jars like this and they're usually expensive. 
these ones I think I got six of these for like twelve dollars or something my half quart jars half quart no my half gallon um but I need gallon jars too because I have a lot of stuff anyway that's all bye